Okay, so here we have two equations and their inequalities. So what we're doing right now is solving for systems of inequalities, which means that we have multiple equations and they have the inequality signs in them. So to graph them, what we need to do first is to solve for y. So our first step is to solve for y. Why do we do this? Is because we want it in slope intercept form. In other words, y equals mx plus b. When you have it in this format here, you can see that you know what your slope is and what your intercept is, so you can plot it on this graph here. So um, first step, let's solve for both equations for y. So I'm going to color code my graphs so that you know which represents which graph on when I draw it on my coordinates. Um, so with the first equation here, we have negative 2y is greater than or equal to 4x. So you can see here, I need to get rid of this negative 2. So I'm going to rewrite this equation down here so I can work with it. Um, let's see. Where's my eraser? There it is. Okay, so if I rewrite my equation, we have negative 2y is greater than or equal to 4x. And so if I want to get rid of this uh, negative 2, I have to divide by negative 2 to both sides. Negative 2's cancel, y drops down. But notice that I divided it by a negative 2, right? So in here, I divided it by a negative 2. So that means our sign switches. So make sure you do that. So we have a sign switch and 4 divided by negative 2. That's negative 2x. And in this case, now that y is by itself, I can go ahead and uh, graph this equation. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So with this equation here, we can see that our slope is the number in front of x. Well, what's the number in front of x? That's negative 2. But I can always put a whole number over 1. So in this case, I know what my rise over run is. But what is my intercept, right? Like. I don't have this plus or minus b on this side. So if there isn't an intercept that's next to your equation that you can grab, well then that by default, there is no intercept. In other words, the uh, actually take that back. There is an intercept, but the intercept is at zero. So my intercept is at zero. So when I graph this, I want to start on my y-axis and plot my intercept at zero. And then my slope is negative two, so I have to go down two and over one to the right. And so once the second step is to graph my equation. So I graphed my equation. The third step is to figure out what line to draw. So draw line. To do that, you have to remember that if you want to draw a line, you have either a solid line or a dashed line. Right? So which is which? Well, if you have inequality signs with equal signs underneath, you would use a solid line. If you don't have a dash, uh, I mean, if you don't have an equal sign underneath or a line underneath, you use the dash line. So looking at this here, notice that our inequality here has a line underneath. So we're using the solid line here. So I'm going to go ahead and draw me a solid line. Now I have to do the shading. So fourth step, I'm not going to run it out of room here. So fourth step is shading. And so in this case, when we're doing shading, we want to look at the inequality sign. So let's take a look. This inequality sign that says that y is less than. So if y is less than, you want to shade in the area where y 
are、um, more negative. So in this case, if y is less than, you want to shade below the line. So here's my line. So I'm going to shade below it because y is less than. If y was greater, I would shade above it. So I'm going to grab a highlighter and I'm going to shade below it. Now, for, now that I'm done with shading, I want to start with my second equation here. Oops, that's the highlighter.、Um, there we go. So our second equation is 4x minus 2y is greater than, I'm sorry, less than 2. So looking at this equation here, first step I need to do is solve for y. So I'm going to go ahead and move stuff over. Here's my y. The first thing I need to move over is this term here because it's the furthest thing away from y on the left hand side. So I have to move that over by subtracting this term off. So the 4x is canceled, negative 2y drops down, inequality drops down. 2 and negative 4x are not like terms, so I just go ahead and bring them down. Then I need to divide both sides by negative 2. Negative 2's cancel on the y, so y drops down. Notice that I divided it by a negative number, right? So what happens? My sign switches. So I'm going to switch my signs. Negative 2 divided by,、uh, I'm sorry, positive 2 divided by negative 2 gives me negative 1. Negative 4 divided by negative 2 is positive 2x. Notice that now I have y by itself. So, I'm ready to do step two, which is graph the equation. So, taking a look at here, right, my intercept looks like it's at negative one, and my slope looks like it's at two, or in other words, two over one. So, when I graph this, I have to go to negative one on my y axis, because that's my intercept. So, there's negative one. And then it looks like I have to、um, go up to and over one to the right because that's my slope. So in this case, do I use a dash or do I use a solid line? Because now I have to draw my line. So looking at this inequality here, it looks like I have to draw a dash line. So I have to dash this、um, on my graph to connect the dots. Okay, now I've got to do some shading. So, looking at this equation here, notice that y, y is bigger, right? So, if y is greater than this line, then I, and here's my line, if y is greater, then I need to shade above this line. And above it would be on top of this line. So, up here. So, I'm going to go ahead and shade that region. Okay. Now, I have to find where they intersect, which is the region that you see the intersection. And it looks like on this graph here, the two colors intersect at this region. So remember, in the end, you want to say, or at least box in on your graph, where does the intersection of the two colors end up?、Uh, Showing up on the graph. So notice that the pink and the green shading show up in this black boxed region. So this is the intersection. And that's it. So what you have to do is solve, take your equations that you have, make sure y is solved first, then you graph the equations, then you draw the lines, and based on what type of inequality it is, draw the correct line for it, solid or dash. And then do some shading. After you shade, you want to find where the two colors that you shade end up meeting, where both colors show up. And in this case, once you find that, you box in that region and declare that as your intersection. That's it. Okay.